Choppers, and welcome to our how to play video for Serpent Master. Serpent Master is a game for two to four players in which you try to maneuver your serpent tokens on the board in order to have them in the best possible places and on top of the other player's serpents so that your tokens are counted the most at the end of game. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the cards, the tokens, and show you how to play Serpent Master by Toresh Games. To start, Serpent Master is played on an 8x8 grid that's reminiscent of a chess or checker board. You can see this pink line right here, which designates that if you're playing with two players, you should play inside of the 6x6 grid inside the pink squares. But if you're playing with three or four players, you should play with the full 8x8 grid playing area. To begin the game, players each pick a separate color. Here you can see we have a red player and a white player lined up. They take the serpent head for that color, along with the 48 serpent body tokens and a set of 15 cards. Since we're set up for a two-player game, players will place their serpent heads inside of the 6x6 six six square, like so. Say red starting there, and we'll just say that white is starting here. Players will then take their deck of 15 cards and shuffle them face down and deal out four cards to the side that will not be used in the game. The cards are set up with a number on the bottom which will denote who gets to go first in each round and also different sections that show where your serpent body will move. The head being the starting point and the circles being where you will place your tokens. At the beginning of the round, a player will look through his remaining cards and choose one that he would like to have his serpent move. Let's say I choose this one for the first round. I'll put it face down and put the rest of the cards off to the side. Every player will do this. Once each player has placed their card face down, all players will turn up their cards and see which number is highest. We can see here the white player has a 13, whereas the red player has a 10. So the white player will go first. The white player then places his tokens however they want in orientation to the serpent's head. You can see here we can't go 1, 2, 3 because it would run off the board outside of the pink line. So we'd have to go 1, 2, 3 this way. 3. And then the serpent head replaces, or goes on top of, the last part in the body. Once the player has finished placing their tokens, their card is discarded off to the side. Then the next player, in descending order, will go. So red player has a 10, so he can either place with a serpent head there, there, or there. We can see, um, I think we're going to choose it just as we have it, like, like so. So we place body part here, one there, one here, and then one would go over the serpent's head there. But we can't place on top of another player's serpent head, so we're going to have to place it a different way. We'll go ahead and choose to place it so that the serpent head were here. And then the serpent head replaces the last part there. And this card gets discarded off to the side. The only movement restrictions that a player comes across is they cannot place over another player's serpent head. And they also cannot place over their own serpent body. If for any reason you are unable to place all of the tokens on your card on your turn, then that card is simply discarded and you do not get to place any tokens for that turn. For the next round, players would once again pick up the remaining cards they have in their deck, choose one, and place it face down. And then everybody at the same time would turn their cards face up and resolve highest number to lowest number in placement of their serpents. The game ends whenever each player has played their 11th card in their deck and finished placing their serpent tokens. Then you count up each serpent token that is at this top of a stack. For the purpose of counting tokens, you do count your serpent head as one of your tokens. So 
For the red player, he would have one, two, three, four points right now. And for the white player, they would just have one, two, three points. In the case of a tie, the player whose serpent head is on the tallest stack of tokens breaks the tie. If there is still a tie, the player with the greatest single number of tokens in a square breaks the tie. In the event that there is still a tie after that, then the game should be considered a draw and you should play another round of Serpent Master. Serpent Master is coming to Kickstarter soon, so make sure to watch out for it. I'm Logan with Logan Chops Reviews, and this has been our How to Play of Serpent Master by Torish Games. Happy gaming.